Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. In the last episode we ran through all the key wardens, finished off our chapter 4 season journey, and uh, then we went into the various realms of terror, fright, putridness and stuff, so that we could make a hellfire amulet. And we made a pretty reasonable one, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy-ish with it. Could be slightly better, but it will do for now. Um, we're going to be running through some greater rifts and regular rifts, uh, which is where we left off last time. Let's get going. Uh, I think... Let's do a Torment 5 Greater Rift. Just to see how I survive on it. How does that sound? Oh, well, you know me. I'm more survival than you, so... And we're off. And it's Greg and Lee, and Greg with the bats, and Greg at Ronda, and Furlong, and Furlong, and Greg coming around the corner, and Greg at the and he's off again, and he's off again. Oh, okay, I got tired of doing the whole <laughs> Oh, that, that's absolutely fine. I'm up to 100-ish, 100 uh, 112 art on stats, 140, 150, 159, and I'm out. So for my viewers, you can see me stutter stepping. Um, what I'm doing is I'm holding my left mouse button down to just move around. And then occasionally I'm just pressing shift. And I'm doing this to uh, keep my take stacks up for the uh, maximum possible benefit. Uh, except when there's no bad guys around and then I just uh, spirit walk around. And while channeling the bats, I can still do the uh, soul suck whatever it's called, uh, Soul Harvest, to uh, boost my intelligence by 25%, is it? Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's about that by the time it's finished. I'm just going to say, I dislike spider caverns again, and I dislike spiders in the spider caverns. What about my spiders in the spider caverns? Well, they're fine. They don't slow me down. Yet. Okay. Not ready yet. I might have sped us up slightly. I think we're doing okay on timing for this. Yeah. Well, like I said, I've done higher than this solo, so I would expect us to be okay. Or at least <laughs> me to be okay. Uh, I can't wait until I am decreasing the cooldown of Archon. That's really what I need at the moment. Can't do it, Pylum. Yeah, they don't seem to do as much damage this season. Yeah, I've noticed that as well. In fact, it seems to be varied. Some rifts you'll end up with amazing amounts of damage being done by them, and then some just not. So yeah, I'm largely just treating them as if they're not there. Oh, this is the wrong way. That was a waste of Archon. But no one's blame but yourself for that. Is that a Paragon level up, or did you just it explode was. for the for the sake of it? It was a Paragon level up. Sorry, I was just while fighting. I was trying to simultaneously yeah, look at power. what my toughness is, <laughs> which is a little hard to do on the fly. Oh, this is so sad. I wish I had more I arcane power. power. The Rift Guardian is here. Right, I'm coming. He's dead. No, Made it! Hi! Uh, two unique amulets and Bane of the Trapped, which is one of the things I need. A unique ring. That's Kimbo's gold and uh, Rocco's modern glass of life. 
Mega Ring. Mega Ring is yeah. very good. Always was a fan of Nagel Ring. Okay, uh, let's put Paragon Points in there. And I think I'm going to go for Bane of the Trap because I want to get that up quickly. And I'm going to swap that over. Oh, wow, it was an ancient Rakos glass of life. <laughs> Are you done in the rift? I'm so done in this rift. Okay, All right, let's... Shen, I need your help. Kadala, give me belts. Take this gem out for 50,000. Kadala, I hate you so, so much. Give me a ring. Make sure it's got a socket in it. Mm. Try again. Looking ancient chromes. It's better, better than I've got at the moment, so I'll put it on. But I want one with the socket in, please. In a moment, I'm just going to go to Kadala. Uh, not Kadala, Miriam. I can do uh, this. So was, all there. was that Atomic 5 that we were just doing? Yeah. Do you want to switch to that for the regular rifts? Um, yeah, that'll, that'll work. Uh, just let me roll a socket into one of these rings so that I can use all of my gems together. Uh, let's go for this is probably the this is going to be the best one to put a socket in right so which of these do we not mind about so much attack speed probably oh come on there we go sockets one all my legendary gems are now actually in use Savage all these up. And I'm just very quickly going to talk to Kadala about some Anything belts. Don't forget, luck always changes. Oh, another call to the Sherman. Nope. Right, so on these, uh, Kimbo's gold is going in here. Rocco's modern glass of life is going in there. And everything else gets salvaged. And then I'm ready to up the difficulty. Oh, I shall be back at the menu. My ally has left. The enemies I face will be. I do like how all of the bits of my armor are animated in their own way. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is pretty cool the way they all sort of move around a bit. I, I like my uh, my general style. I feel it's uh, suitably Arconi Overlordy. I think I prefer the old, uh, old wings, though. Ooh, hers Diablo just crashed. Oh, no, you just started it again. Oh, you? yeah, yeah. I just uh, decided to <laughs> I say I hit a quip, and then everything froze, and I was like, uh, Oh, what? no. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, it's only me. I do like that the uh, the various different wizards and mages uh, within Diablo have got, like, such uh, cool things like Delsir's Magnum Opus and Veer's Amazing Arcana, and then you've got Hergvash, who basically just sounds like a wizard who's drunk a bit too much. Like, Hergvash is binding. Because I quite like wine. Maybe a bit just more. Like than the me. Dean of the Unseen University. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, as long as I'm. Focusing on what I'm doing, I'm pretty good at, uh, at clearing through sections quickly. And then I stall. Because I don't have any cooldown reduction at the moment. I could do a, a lot more to, uh, to increase my general kill speed when I'm not in Archon form. Um, but I don't have any uh, worthwhile things in the cube. You're okay with that one back there. Sort of. I ran out of arcane power. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, really. I'll be, I'll be recharged in just a moment. Performance issues? I think they've got pills for that. It's not so much that. I just get a bit tired. You know, I'm, I'm getting old. Staying power. Oh, 
Okay, you're very fast in our comp form. If only they could see me now. Can't do anything about shielding though, that's annoying. My um Archon stacks increase my speed and resistances and armor as well. Alright. At least I think it's uh, all three. Uh, attack a speed, of armor. Speed as well. yeah. uh, attack speed. So my attack speed goes up by at least 100% by the time I'm done. Paragon up. Yeah, I got the same a moment ago. I'm just taking care of some damn annoying little things. There we go. Oh, the other thing with my stutter stepping um, is you can see it throwing out those uh, piercing knives. I'm wearing sash of knives at the moment. Seems to be working all right. At least until I find those Bakuli jungle wraps that I want. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. For, for what? Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, bloody shielding again. Well done. You killed a barrel. I decided not to stand directly in the middle of all of them. <laughs> yeah, I was going to, and then I thought, mm, don't really need to. Don't, don't need to prove anything with this. <laughs> like, I've not had to trigger my death with this character yet. It would be kind of interesting to see how it actually mechanically functions. Oh, there's a blood shard problem. Well, was. there was. <laughs> that would be a hell of a lot of belts. Or, in fact, I should probably gamble for sources with this character. Uh, sorcerer, how are you? Well, so uh, source oxen, that's what I need. So is this a, like a barbecue sauce or tomato sauce? <laughs> I no uh, no it's uh it's pure magic. Although you could say that a good barbecue sauce is like pure magic. More like marinated in mana. Need more time. The Rift Guardian is here. Just in time for me to run out of um, Nicely done. Hey, congrats. Well, there was something in there. Alright, let's head back. Oh, it's a source. It's not the one that I want, but it looks kind of cool. It looks like a um, a bubble underwater. <laughs> what? No, I'm serious. Yeah, you know, like a Sonic the Hedgehog style. Oh, it's the Oculus. You could, just couldn't see the eyeball on it. Wow. The Oculus is alright, but it's, it's nothing. You need to get your eyes checked. Maybe you should use an Oculus for it. Oh, shut your face. <laughs> okay, well, that goes in with the weapons for cubing. And let's talk to Kadala. Kadala, give me some orbs. That will look yes! Oh, my God! I've always told you that you get too overexcited but, about this game sometimes. It's an ancient one! Yes, yes it is. Right, that that means I'm even more explodey. Now I, I'm going to be building up um, stacks of Chandotto's Will, uh, which when I get to 20 stacks, I'll be doing 7,000 weapon damage per second for every wave of destruction that shoots out of me. That is so much damage. Oh, that is that is so good. Right, let's put my best gem in it. It's not, like, much of a good gem because it's still pretty poop right and we're going to re-roll the intelligence on it because that's that's actually a really good roll for it uh critical hit chance is perfect the extra damage is on the low end but uh the intelligence could go much much higher all right so miriam this has made my day so much Right, uh, intelligence, that's what we're re-rolling. We can only do, do, do this six times. That was bad. That was bad. 952 intelligence, I will take it. Okay, well, let's drop those off. Let's put this back along with the weapons to be done. 
And I think salvage up everything else, and I'm gonna ask Kadala for some belts now. Uh, another tormentor. No use. Salvage that straight away. Anything All right. could happen. In fact, I could go for rings next, because obsidian ring of the zodiac is the biggest thing that I need. Do come back again. Well, it's I can't a good afford that. Weight. Well, Nagel Ring's not bad. Let's uh, let's put a socket in it and we'll swap it over for the other gem that we've got. Would you like a greater rift? Um, in just a second, let me just sort this out. I think we're going to re-roll that. There's a socket. And that was on my last um, Forgotten Soul Shen. Take the gem out of this, please. And now I'm getting tiny terrorists as well. Right, let's just salvage up the rest of the stuff and then we can have a greater rift at your leisure. Uh, does that mean now? Uh, yeah, now is good. Uh, level 22 again? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Let's... Oh, I can't afford to empower this one. Let's not empower it. Yeah, I'm basically spending all my money on um, gems at the moment. Ah, oh, Building up Chandotto stacks. I wonder whether the Wave of Destruction counts towards building up Archon stacks or not. Probably. Oh god, let's get out of that. Right, I'm up to 15. 16, 17. 18, 19. 20. Okay, here I go. I'll just kill all the things over here then. Still waiting. Up to 180 stacks, 190 stacks, 205 stacks. That was a Good lot thing. of damage. Uh, each stack increases my damage by 6%. Let's know, how are you leaving things alive then? Oh, because uh, uh, I was just going for the, uh, the biggest clusters and teleporting through stuff. So if it was just outside of my explosion range, then it would have lived. I need arcane power. Now I'm just waiting for the cooldown. Hello. I just saw a toad lick something. Yep. That's <laughs> big old toady. Old toady McToad face. Toady's great. Hundred and thirty six stacks that time. Pretty good. Yeah, I can imagine I'd be able to do this uh this solo. It's just the downtime in between killing would be the uh, the real kicker. Like could I lure stuff together long enough in order to uh, to really benefit from those explosions at the moment. Yeah. Very nearly time for the next explosion. Still waiting. Need more time. Your grave this rift is very empty following you. <laughs> I bet it is. I, I am the Alpha Striker.
Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you weren't in this area yet. I just picked up a speed pylon. Need more arcane power. <laughs> That's all right. I was finishing off the other rift level. Oh, I'm coming to catch up now. It'll be a little while. Oh, cuddle bears. I don't have enough arcane power. I was just thinking, how the hell did you find out? And then, of course, it, it, it says it down the bottom, doesn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, when I'm not in our form form, I do stall. <laughs> uh, yes, having not made any progress into that rift. Well, I killed some things. The rift guardian is here. <laughs> 48 stacks in that short period of time. And Ice Blink, which is pretty useless. Uh, but let's do Bane of the Trapped. I don't suppose you can turn that off, can you? There you go. <laughs> I can, actually. A womp, a womp, womp, womp. It's like you're in dubstep mode. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Are you done? I am. I'm back in town now. Nicely done. Cool, and another Paragon level. Alright, let's salvage up those bits. So what does Ice Blink actually do? Cold Steel is now quite chill effect. Chill effect slows by additional 10%. Uh, yeah, Ice Blink's interesting, but it's not one of the ones I don't. I think I'd use. Even if I had like a cold base build, I don't think I would use it. Oh, I probably would. Uh, another rift. Uh, yes, please. Something got past you and it stabbed me. <laughs> See, I do enough damage that normally they just die while trying to fly through me. Well, that time they didn't. I feel like you're not holding up your end of this party bargain. <laughs> hey, you're the tank, remember? <laughs> oh, well, if I'm the tank... I'm just warming up. Tank, not DPS. This is me tanking. It's improving my armor and resistances. Ooh, plans. Hallowed defenders, I think that was. Yeah, I got like an Umbral Oath, I think. Oh, I can't wait for the uh, stacks to last for 20 seconds after I exit Archon form. <laughs> then you won't stall quite as hard. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's your toad. Just tried disintegrating your bloody toad. It's translucent. Well, in the mist, it looked solid. I don't have enough arcane power. My power grows. Well, while I'm stalling, I may as well loot all the. Uh... All the various chests and things. Ah, oh, there we go. Cooldown is back. Still wait. Didn't see that coming, did you? Not ready yet. Ooh, a unique... What was that? No, it's another wand. It's the uh, the Unstable Scepter. Not one that I want. I'm looking for the Fragment of Destiny, so if you find one, do point it out. Uh, will do. Not just a Fragment of Destiny, but THE Fragment of Destiny. It's important to get the right one. Ah. And how do you know the difference between a one and the one? Well, if it's the real Fragment of Destiny, you should know. Waiting. And if not, I mean, what kind of magi are you? Uh, an unusual one. Just 
Ooh, unique ring. I'll look up what that is in a couple of moments. Alright, do you want to take over while I check that ring? Sure. That's going in the cube. That's actually a pretty good one. That's like nearly perfect rolls. Oh, cool. That is very good. Can I have it? No. In fact, I'm actually tempted to swap it over for the uh, for the pandemonium loop. Power pylon. As soon as you're ready. Okay, just coming closer. Not this way. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Honestly, what good is a power pylon if you stop to get the chests? <laughs> I don't think you quite understand my motivation in this game. Loot the room. Not ready yet. The Rift Guardian has found coming. Pop. <laughs> and that oh, was yeah. all of the pop. Some sort. That went quite well. Very efficient. Are you done in there? I am. Let's talk to Kadala about uh, rings, I guess. Do come back again. That's a no, but we'll go and talk to Shen about moving that jewel across for us. Salvage up some more junk. That that can definitely get salvaged. Everything else except the pandemonium loot can get salvaged. And another rift? Yeah, another greater, greater rift, I think. Uh, let me just put okay. these down. There we go. Okay, I am ready. Still can't afford to empower it, but I'll do what I can. I would say don't forget your buffs, but you've got that cheaty way of putting them on, don't you? Uh, not for the dogs, so I don't bother with that. Imagine if they were recasting themselves every so often, they'd never get anything done. Yeah, and uh, the uh, Fetish Shaman's not a buff. That's what summons the giant toad. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, Convention of Elements is allowing me to kill it at decent speed. Kind of. Kind of. Until I run out of arcane power. Channeling pylon, that'll be useful. Congratulations. Thank you. Need more time. Really funny seeing this giant tongue across the screen sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I had a teeny bit of lag for a second there. That could be nasty. Nah, shield pylon. Fine. Yeah, but... Still waiting. I still worry whenever I do get something like that. If only they could see me now. Oh, what's the worst that happens? I laugh at you as you have to level up another wizard. 
No, I've got a spare. You laugh at me as I have to find all the equipment again. Need conduit pylon. Need more time. You dare attack me? Wrong way. Now, interestingly, that is not uh, increasing stats. So that kind of answers my question as to whether it would uh, work with Wreath of Lightning. Set pants, unique sword, and Teguk. I got a set helm and a unique spear. Oh, it looks oh, like the, the um. It's the twisted sword, but I got more Veer's pants. Helltooth headdress, mask. Yeah. Returning to town. It's a very nice one as well, actually. The look of the Helltooth mask is is one of the better ones, I'd say. Slightly worse than my current ones, but I could potentially re-roll them into a different part of the set, so I'd have another spare if I wanted. Twisted Sword I'm just going to get rid of. And Tegek is just not really something we're going to use. It's not, it's not bad, but it requires like entirely focusing on channeled skills, which we're not doing with this character. Uh, let's put the rest of these bits down and assign that new Paragon point. Kadala, give me belts. This time, give me the one that I want. <laughs> Kadala, give me another two rings, please. Are you ready? No, no, just better. no. <laughs> what? It's a cool belt of transcendence. Do you not want to fetch a fetish sycophant? Fine, I'll put it with the hell tooth gear. <laughs> Right. I, I've got some really quite nice ancient stuff, which is not for my current build. We're going to take 100 of those. We're going to take uh, 200 of these. We're going to take 200 of these. Are you buying penny sweets? We're going to take 200 of these, and we're going to go make four rings, and we're going to upgrade them. Right, first ring. Gives us a puzzle ring. Well, that's all right. We could go to the uh, the vault if you wanted. Yeah, all right, let's do that now. Uh, also got an ancient litany of the undaunted. That's okay. In fact, that's better than okay. And got the compass rose. Ah, damn you. And got... Band of Hollow Whispers. Yeah. The Ancient Litany of the Undaunted, though, that's uh, that's one I'm happy with. It's pretty perfect on the uh, the intelligence roll. Should uh, pass that over to your lightning-based person. I might still do that, actually, because they still haven't found any... Uh... <laughs> well, no, they found one piece of Delsius Magnum Opus, but... Uh... I just think you'll have a better time overall if you switch over to just... Ancient gear and lightning fun skills. Oh, it, it could work. It really could. Okay, right. So we've got the uh, Band of Hollow Whispers. That's going to go in here. And the Compass Rose, we might not do on that. Well, we'll put it in there just in case we switch to it at some point. The Puzzle Ring, though, that's going straight in the cube. Everyone knows what fun this causes. Right, I've got four million exactly. Not quite exactly, but... Uh, oh, wrong button! I'm exploding! Okay, now I'm going around looting the room. Yeah, I think you got everything up there. 
And now I'm stalling. It's okay, you got the next section right. And I took care of all the monsters in there. Well, you know me, I've got every section when you're just like, <gasps> can't breathe. There we go. Paragon 118. At least I'll be recharged by the time we actually make it in there. I'm very nearly recharged now, actually. Those, get these bits. I'm surprised they don't use treasure goblins as their frontline troops because they're so indestructible. <laughs> yeah, but they're also non offensive. Well, yeah, just imagine you train them to use a billy club, right? Well, and they'll just like wear you down with sheer like survivability, Homer Simpson yeah. style. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready for all the explosions. Pop! <laughs> that worked pretty well. Let's turn that off. Boom of the Horde, set belt, unique axe. I got a unique uh, ceremonial knife and a unique voodoo mask. And I got 21 million from that. Uh, I only got about 17 and a bit, but that's fine. I'm Tower Rush's belt. I am returning to town. I think I've got both of these already, actually. Okay, well, I'll put Tower yes. Rush's belt and over yes. here for now. I'll sort out exactly where I arrange it. Boon of the Horde, that's going to go in here. Uh, don't know where, if and when we'll switch over to using that, but we might do. And the Butcher Sickle, I can go in there. The rest of the stuff can all get salvaged. But that was uh, that was pretty good for just getting materials and stuff, I'd say. Yep. I can now afford to do a few things. Alright, well with all that um, rifting and jumping into the vault, I think that's probably a good point for us to finish that episode. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, do hope that you are enjoying this and uh, watching as we progress. And the different playstyles between uh, Captain Batnado over there and Captain Explosion over here. Um, we are going to be carrying on in just a moment, so join us again soon for more Diablo 3.